guys. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Putting up a final detail uh, behind where the stove is going to go. And look at this. Yes, this is called a fireback. So I remember Joe and Liz sort of uh, came up with the design themselves. Um, I think they actually found it online and ordered it, right? Yeah, you're right. And it's a pretty heavy piece of cast iron. <laughs> Look at that detail. So a lot of beautiful detail. And they were giving me the history of it. I mean, I guess back in the day, these things were inserted in wood fireplaces and they protect the material in the back of the box. Right. It's like, a, it's like a cast iron radiator. When they get hot, they radiate heat. Well, the fire heats this up and disperse that heat for quite a while. Awesome. So in this case, we're going to use it um, on the wall behind the stove. You got a little bit of tile there, but yeah, well, oh, that thing is a beast, <sighs> huh? This is going to be interesting to see you guys get this in. Yeah, it is going to be a trick. It is a bit heavy. I think this thing weighs about 50, 60 pounds. So what is the process for making sure that it stays where you put it? Well, we're actually going to use this flexible uh, adhesive right here. Mm -hmm. We just want to put some big globs in each corner because it's pretty uneven. So it looks like a big uh, here. bunch of cookie dough. And flexible because a lot of temperature change? Well, you get temperature change. You get, it's going to move back and forth with the temperature change. And you want to make sure that it's going to stick. Boy, I would think with something that's 50 or 60 pounds that you need something mechanical, like a bracket or a cleat or some screws, but no? No, this stuff is really strong, Kevin. Adhesives today are really amazing. So we get that on there like that get it all over me and everything else. So now what we got to do is we're going to try to pick it up. We get it in the right orientation. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That'd be funny. That upside down. <laughs> so we got to put it in and we've got a couple of wedges on the bottom to give us a grout line and we put this cement board on the back as a filler but also a good sticking point. It'll just stick right in there. We can center it. How's it look on that side? Looks pretty good. All right, we got the fills down here. Yep. That's good. All right, we'll put a couple of sticks in That's to good. hold it into position while this dries. All right, that's good. All right, so this is just a temporary brace right now to hold it till the adhesive dries. Good. Now I just put a couple of shims up against it. Don't need much. Okay, so that's good. We'll leave that for about 24 hours. And around the perimeter, we don't want to grout because the expansion and contraction could be different. So we're actually going to use a flexible caulking, the color of the grout. And this is just for show, right? Unlike the original firebacks, we're not protecting from heat. We're not radiating anything. Right, it's not going to get that bad. It's a darn good idea, and I think it looks terrific. All right, thanks, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.